unprocessed facts and figures we call it as a data so data analysis and discussion some people do call it as data analysis and interpretation is one of the important chapter in the project a dissertation or a phd thesis so by the end of this video you will understand how to write data analysis and discussion chapter Hey everyone welcome back once again by the end of this video you will know how to write data analysis and interpretation chapter or data analysis and discussion chapter make sure to watch the video till the end and if you are new to the channel then please do hit on subscription and bell icon to get the notification of latest uploads and also if you have further queries feel free to comment them in the comment section we will divide this video in two parts in the first part we will talk about some key points to be included in the data analysis and discussion chapter and in the second half we will see an example which can help you to write this chapter let us discuss some key terminologies which are used in this chapter number one is going to be the data so unprocessed facts and figures are called as the data and the second is used as an information so once you process the data you get an information so when we talk about the data there are two type of data one is going to be the qualitative data and second is going to be the quantitative data i request you to do comment and let me know what is qualitative data and what is quantitative data we will simplify what is to be written in this chapter in this chapter on one page what you need to have you need to correlate uh, this with your questionnaire so you will have to select one question take it as a heading after that you'll have to have a table then a graph and then a discussion how to write it with the suitable example that we will see in the second half so let us go to an example and see how the data analysis and interpretation chapter has to be written so as mentioned you'll have to write the chapter name on the top and data analysis and discussion here i had divided this chapter into two parts chapter one i mean part one and part two so even if you don't divide into sub parts that's absolutely fine this i was mentioning you what you'll have to do uh, on one page what you will have to have a question and its discussion interpretation and how it is written that i'll show you with a suitable example okay so if you look at this at 4.1.2 effects of advertisement on the consumer buying decision so here what you can do you can simply have uh, a table then uh, its graph and then interpretation or if you could uh, write the interpretation then table and graph that will also do it won't be a problem so number of questions will give you number of graphs and those graphs will have to uh, explain in this chapter so here we have come to an end of this video i am sure you must have found this video helpful and informative if so then please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit on the bell icon also feel free to comment and let me know how did you find uh, this video which actually motivates and inspires me to make the videos on such topics the next video is based on how to write finding and suggestion chapter so i'll see you guys in the next video until then this is sandeep signing off thank you for your time